the body follows the mind. If the mind is weak, the body is also going to be weak in terms of how it will manage itself, right? So I think the key to really getting rid of stress eating is to master the mind. And that is by just being aware and being more conscious of what it is that you want. If you set an intention that you are going to master this stress eating, then you're going to go do the research. You're going to go see, okay, what's causing me to eat, to, to stress eat? What do I eat when I stress eat? Okay, those things will not enter my home. If you don't have it, you can't do it. So you have to be more disciplined, more intentional, right? And you have to recognize that you are in charge of you. The ice cream cannot be in charge of you. The chocolates cannot be in charge of you. Although chocolates are very powerful. <laughs> I, I, listen guys, I can say this because I'm a chocoholic, if, if there's such a thing. And I'm also a snackaholic. So I like salty, crunchy, and I like sweet. No, there's a study that shows that the things that you crave are related to an emotion that you may have and you express that emotion through the food that you crave. I'm told that people who like salty crunchy have internalized anger that they have to express through eating crunchy salty. So I must have a lot of uh, anger because I love crunchy salty. So I would say to everyone who is having issues with stress eating, go do the research on you know, why you have that craving for sweet or you have that craving for cold or you have that crave, you know, some people eat ice. In the old time days, them say, if you eat ice, you have man problem. We now know that, you know, people who are iron deficient sometimes will have the craving for ice. Yeah. So look at the stress eating that you do and do the research on it because everything is on the Internet. And sometimes it may be a little off, but you can find the right answer if you continue to search. Yeah. Well, let me hear you say, my